Hey, I'm James Simonelli, Twin Power Brand Manager. I'm down here in Fort Worth, Texas, and this is my combination street slash drag slash land speed record bike. Well, the goal was at first to build uh, a nine second street V twin with a street tire and a foot shifter and no wheelie bar that looked like an actual street bike. The way the motor got started was actually over, um, uh, well, I guess a somewhat drunken dinner conversation between me and a couple of the R&D engineers saying, you know, we should build this giant motor. And they said, well, what good is it? It's not going to fit in anything. I said, well, if you can build it, I can fit it in something. You just give me the motor and I'll make it fit. So I took this 139 and I put it in my four-speed super glide and um, I drove it around on the street for about two years and you know I rode it to work and stuff I took it to the track all the time I eventually got it to go 990 at 140 miles an hour and I mean this was in a really short wheelbase anyway they were so amazed that that thing held together it actually became the 145 tribute project. Yeah, it was 100 years of Harley and 45 years of S&S, &S and uh, yeah, it was the 145. My goal is I gotta be able to, to ride it to the drag strip and click off a nine. And, and I literally rode that thing once, I think from my house to Earlville, Iowa, was about 100 miles, and uh, it made it there on a tank of fuel, and then we, we filled it up again. I don't remember if there was a gas stop in there or not, but, um, and, and it did what it had to do. Then um, I kind of got the, the land speed bug. So, so when, when we built this chassis, and, and it kind of evolved into this, I, I said, okay, it, it's gotta be able to do three things now. My goal was, was uh, wanting to go 200 miles an hour naked, um, that's very far-fetched. It's, it's very, very hard to go 200 miles an hour on a, on a naked V-twin. I mean, guys have done it, but not guys my size and shape and, and uh, not on gasoline. Trying to hold on to this thing at 166 naked is, uh, is an undertaking. It sounds easy and it doesn't sound that fast, but believe me, it's pretty fast. The chassis was uh, built by Roland Thunder Cycles out of Canada. Um, inch and three eighths down tubes and it's it's uh it's like 120 wall works performance shocks that my buddy tom edison made me at the time they were the only shocks that wouldn't snap the shaft i broke three or four other sets of shocks this is a real deal harley super glide gas tank with a with a screw cap it's um i think 1983 1984 only their tokiko calibers off a, a gsxr 600 you know um, the wheels are PMFR wheels. My good friend, Bill, late Bill Gardner, made me the triple trees, the fork brace, the hand controls. It's a real deal moon oil tank with some Fab Kevin brackets on it. There's just a lot of, a lot of one-off stuff, but a lot of recycled junk too. I mean, the, the rear sets were made out of um, like swap meet table, $5, sports to brake pedals and, and uh, soft tail foot pegs. I mean, this is just a set of cheap one inch Clubman handlebars. This is a V-rod headlight. This is a real early uh, Arlen Ness cafe front fender. You know, I could go on and on. It's, it's, it's been every, every, little, every little bracket, every, every little piece, every, every twist of safety wire was, you know, it's kind of labor of love, you know? This piece here that ties the uh, engine and transmission together, this is a Baker six-speed torque box, by the way, and um, Bert Baker himself machined that for me. Bert's a great guy, <clears throat> and he's a really fun guy, and I, I started working at Baker, and I had the old four-speed bike, and you know I brought it in to show off one day, and Bert said, wow, that's pretty cool. I said, have you ever gone to the drag strip? He says, eh, you know, I went a couple of times in my Corvette. No, it's not my really, you know. I said, dude, it's pretty cool. We should build you a bike, and you should go racing too. So he had a 140-inch rigid frame that became a 
consistent, you know, low to mid nine second bike. And I had this and once Bert decides that he likes something, holy shit, I'm, oh, excuse me, I mean, good God. <laughs> we were, um, sometimes we would go to the track three or four times a week. We would go for, for test and tunes on uh, Wednesday nights, Friday nights. We would go on the weekends. We would go race different events. I mean, you'd be like, are we going to the track? Are we going to the track? Are we going? I was like, I, I never thought I'd get sick of going to the drag strip. Bert and I must have run a thousand passes together over, over the years. I mean, we were just constantly doing it. And, and, and he was, he was just hooked. So that, that was, uh, th those were some fun years. I'm James Simonelli, Twin Power Brand Manager in Fort Worth, Texas, and you're watching Torque TV.